In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the best Warzone key bindings updated for 2022. If you are new to the channel and you like what you see, please hit that like button and while you're down there hit that subscribe button so you guys never miss a video. Before we get into the keybinds, I wanted to mention that you will need two side buttons on your mouse and the mouse I am using is a Ninja Air 58 Final Mouse. The keyboard I am using is a SteelSeries Apex Pro TKL. Before we get into the key bindings, I wanted to mention that you wanted to have your field of view on max, which is 120. That way, as you can see here in the field of view representation here, you can see as much as possible. If you're going to be on console, you're not going to be able to have this slider. However, if you are on PC, put it to 120, it allows you to see so much more within the frame of the video. You're gonna be able to see so many things going on in your screen at once, that way it's just gonna be so much easier for you to just get a sense of what the hell's going on. Your ADS field of view right under that is going to be affected. And what that pretty much does is when you're gonna be ADSing, it's pretty much gonna leave it at the same camera zoom. If it was on independent, your camera would zoom into around 80, 60 to 80 FOV which is something that you don't want, especially because you want to have low recoil. And when you try this on affected and you zoom in and you shoot your weapon, it's going to be very easy to control the recoil. I think this is brand new for one of the seasons that they just added. They're going to have camera movement. I think this comes standard with 100%, which is default. You're going to want to slap that all the way down to 50%. That way the camera doesn't shake on you as much. And now this brings us to the main part of the video, which is the key bindings themselves, the keys that you push on the keyboard. What are the best key bindings? What am I using? How can you instantly improve your movement and your aim with these key bindings? The first thing that we're gonna to wanna to start with is automatic tactical sprint. And so when we're doing that, all you have to do is push the W key and it sprints for you. All these other settings that they have here, crouch behavior, toggle, prone behavior, this is all something you guys can play around with. This is pretty much stock and standard. I have not played with any of this walk speed. This is brand new to me. I'm just now looking at these settings. So I think the 45% normal speed, I think that's standard. So just leave all the standard. As far as the normal key bindings go, you're gonna want your move forward to obvious speed. Uh, w, backward is going to be S, move left is going to be A, move right is going to be D. You're going to want your use button to be E, space bar is going to be jump. Now your crouch button, that is going to be Q. It's right next to the W key. I know it's very awkward, very, very weird, but it's also very, very easy. So give it a shot and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. The prone, you're going to want to uh, do left control. It's right there underneath the shift key. That way it's going to be very easy for you to just reach your pinky down there. It's very easy if you have small hands. Sprint, tactical sprint. I mean, I just have this as left shift. I mean, obviously I do have ta automatic tack sprint, so we're not going to really need that key binding. So you can leave this unbound if you'd like. Gestures I have as V. J is just a secondary one that I have. Moving on to the weapons and equipment. The switch minimum delay here. You're going to want that at six, somewhere between 65 and 80, mainly because when you're going to be one of, when you're going to want to YY on someone, or you're going to want to use the scroll wheel to look cool when you're, when you're trying to get those clips for TikTok or whatever, you're going to want that delay to be pretty moderate. You're not going to want it to be at zero because it's going to be very touchy, very sensitive if you have it at zero. So you're going to want probably around 65 to 80. I think 80 is the standard. So. I lowered it down to 65, that way you can do that much faster. Your reload is going to be R. Your next weapon is going to be 1. Your weapon mount is going to be the back button on your your side your side button on your mouse. That way, when you want to mount onto something, all you have to do is just click that button. Very, 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 very easy right there on your thumb. Alternate fire, not really going to be playing around with that, so that's going to be B. Melee, this is a very easy key to have as melee. F, 
you're gonna want it right there next to the D key and it's very easy to um, actuate if you wanna assassinate someone. Your lethal equipment is gonna be three, your tactical equipment is gonna be four, armor plate, that is going to be Z. It's gonna be a bit hard to reach, however, you do want your key bindings to be slightly close to each other. You don't wanna put your armor plate as anything beyond G on your keyboard because it's gonna be very hard to reach, especially if you have small hands. A uh, field upgrade is gonna be C, so when you wanna use your dead silence, your munitions box, your trophy system in Warzone, you're gonna to wanna to use that as C because it's right there next to the V key. Very easy to very easy to reach uh, when you're taking your thumb off the space bar. Kill streaks and vehicles. The first kill streak I have set is X. X is right at underneath the S key and right next to the Z key. Very easy to actuate. Kill streak number two is going to be Z. Obviously, you won't need this for Warzone. This is more of a multiplayer type thing, so you don't really need to worry about the second slot. All these other key bindings that I have here are pretty much just going to be standard by Warzone. I have not changed any of them. I've don't advise you to change any of them. Overlays and shortcuts. Scoreboard, you can have it as hold, map and favorite. Obviously, these are things that you can just play around with, and this is all personal preference. Show map is M. Also, caps lock. I have that double bound. That way, you could use two key bindings to pull up the map. Now, however, as far as ping goes, you can totally bind this to any key binding that we haven't used yet. You could either do the middle mouse button, you can click the mouse button like the scroll wheel. I have mine as zero, but I know that's quite a, that's really, that's a really bad ping button. However, I, you do have to reach over the, over the keyboard for that. I don't know why I like it. Open inventory is gonna be tab. And the reason why at the beginning of the video I said to have two mouse side buttons is one was for the weapon mount and the next one was for push to talk. I like to have it really easy on my mouse. A lot of people say that they can hear my keyboard it's very loud, I smack on the keys. One last key binding that I like to use is mute sound. That's more of a me thing that I like to use for streaming. I like to put F4 and that pretty much what that does is we're actually doing it right now. If I click F4, it's gonna mute the game audio. That way you can talk to your chat if you're a streamer or you can make muted gameplay for TikTok or whatever. Okay, now let's talk about mouse sensitivity. The mouse DPI that I have on my final mouse right now and I use is 400 DPI. It's the lowest DPI you can go on the mouse. It's, I don't know if it's the lowest you can go on any type of mouse. However, that is the DPI that I recommend and the sensitivity that I would recommend right here, 12.0. It's perfect for flicking, perfect for beaming people out of the sky, perfect for the movement. Try it out, you're not gonna be upset. It's, it's, it's literally helped so many people based on the last video that I created on key bindings. I, have I haven't used any other sensitivity ever since I started this game and I couldn't be happier. This sensitivity is awesome. Try it out for yourself. You're gonna want your ADS mouse sensitivity mode on relative. ADS sensitivity multiplier is gonna be one. So pretty much when you're, when you're, when you're ADSing, the sensitivity is just gonna remain the same. It's not gonna change. Mouse acceleration is gonna be zero. I think this comes standard with something, but you're gonna to wanna to flip that to zero. Mouse filtering is gonna be zero. Mouse smoothing is gonna be disabled. And I think that just about covers all the key bindings that you need to know. If you guys do want me to make a video on the graphics, portion on how you can get high frame rates. I know that the graphics portion on PC has been atrocious with this game lately. I mean, the, the frames have been going way down. Even on my PC, I'm typically getting 200 on Rebirth Island. Recently, uh, before the update that they just had, I was getting like 120, like it was awful. So this game is going up and down with the graphics quality and the frames. However, it is constantly changing, but I seem to have the best settings for those so if you guys do want to do want to see a high fps graphics video please let me know in the comments section down below